Hello everybody, I have a tutorial to share with you today. We are going to make a cape inspired by the movie Lord of the Rings. So the first thing I'm going to do is head over to my fabric store and browse the different aisles of fabric. So I've got a couple of different options here. This one is a polyester blend. I think it was with like the costume material, but it's going to be $30 a yard and that's just going to be a little bit beyond our price range. Here's a cotton flannel that's only $5.99 a yard. So we're getting a little bit closer to the the kind of price range that we're looking for. I end up using this one which is $8.99 a yard and what I like about this one is that it hangs really well and plus the edges don't fray. Okay, so uh, just showing you a couple of the materials that we're going to need. I ended up buying a yard and a half, and it's 60 inches wide. And there's two ways that you can measure how long your cape should be. This is one of them, where your kid just holds it up. Now remember, it's still folded, and he's going to hold it up and just see like where his neck is and how long he wants it to be. But if you want to get a little bit more accurate, then you can use a measuring tape and figure out how long it's going to be. Now, he wanted it so that it wasn't too long because we've made capes in the past and he's tripped over them. So he wanted this one a little bit shorter, which worked out well because it left enough room for the hood. So we're going to work on the cape portion here. And I'm just going to fold down the very top portion and sew a little casing there so that I can put the elastic through. And I've just folded down the edges here and my son is going to be sewing this. This was his project and he's nine years old and he is going to go ahead and do all of the sewing except for the hood. So he's just sewing it through and again because the edges aren't going to fray we don't need to fold it over twice. We can just fold it over once and sew it and then you can just see how that looks here. So we're left with a little opening here and we're going to put some elastic in there in a little bit but first we're going to work on the hood. So this is the remnant piece once we cut off the piece for the cape and we're going to cut this at about 15 inches from the folded piece which is going to give us a nice size hood. Once that's cut then I can fold the right sides in so that we can sew the piece that's near the folded edge. So we're gonna we're gonna sew along the edge that's 15 inches long. And again my son is going to do this and again we don't need to worry about frayed edges. There is a product that you can buy that glues the edges together so that you don't have to worry about frayed edges even with other kinds of fabrics. So this is what it looks like and we're just going to try it out and see if it works and indeed it does so we can move on to the next part which is putting the hood to the cape and we're going to line up the middle. And you're going to see that the cape or yeah the hood is not going to go the whole entire length of the cape and that's what you want. You don't want to go the whole entire length. So now we're just going to sew those two pieces together and I'm doing this part to ensure that the middles stay together and that the hood is in the center of the cape. And I'm just going from one end to the other and I'm leaving, I'm making sure that I'm not sewing through the casing that we already made. So this is my little trick on how to get the elastic through the casing and that's just to slip it onto a pin. You could do this with a safety pin as well. And then my son is just going to thread it through so that we get the elastic from one end to the other. This did take a minute or two because my casing was quite snug, but it's okay. We made it all the way to the other end. At this point, I pulled out the elastic with the pin and then slipped it onto my son to see how much elastic we wanted. So we've made capes in the past where we have used string and the kids have to tie it and that was kind of cumbersome. So we're going to use elastic and I'm going to cut it and then sew the elastic directly into the casing. I'm going to do this twice, once on either side, so that the elastic is really firmly in place in the casing. And once that's done, then I can take the two pieces together and sew them together. And again, you want to go over this several times because this is where you could, you're going to have a lot of wear and tear and you want to make sure it doesn't split open. All right, so once that's done, my kid slipped it on to see if it fit okay, and indeed it does. He loves it. It's super easy for him to use. We've made mini capes before, and this one um, turned out really well. Now, we also added this little brooch here that was inspired by the movie, Lord of the Rings. And I'm just going to show you here the edges. This is three months later, and the edges have not frayed at all. This was a really good material to use. It wasn't the cheapest one there, but it was really worth it in the end, and and my son absolutely loves it. He uses it all the time. 
All right, so if you wanna see one of our other tutorials on sewing up some costumes inspired by either movies or from our homeschool studies, you can click on the screen and you can get the full details for this project on my website at pepperandpine.com.